Yo, how's it going, guys? So I'm back home for the winter holiday break. And anyways, welcome to episode 21 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. Hope you guys enjoy today's episode. What? I did not see that coming at all. Well, 70 Slayer, that means I can go ahead and get some Karas tasks, man. Actually pretty excited to kill those guys. They're just so good, man. Freaking got 54 agility from doing this elite clue. It turns out you only need 25 agility. 60 is the one over there, and that's not for the elite clue, so. Nice. Step number four, what do we have here? Oh shit, what is that? Is that in the wilderness? Oh my god, yes. It's not in the wilderness. Awesome. We can continue. Yes, please. Number five of this silly clue. Come on. Oh my goodness, we're on a roll. Okay, so I just looked it up. I need to do in search of Meyer and start in aid of Meyer Q, uh, for this elite clue. So let's do it. And that is in search of Meyer completed. So just gotta start the other quest and uh, we're good to go. Not sure if this is the wilderness or not. I hope it isn't. Oh my goodness, guys. This is insane. I'm seven steps in now and I can do this one as well. Okay, did I complete it? Oh no, this is a 10 step. 9 step is the bare minimum, but unfortunately I didn't get the bare minimum, so... I can almost say that this is probably the last step, but... You know, with Sherlock, it's probably game over, so... I'm gonna close my eyes and see what we get. Fuck! Fix a magical lamp in Dorgish Khan? I'm gonna try and finish it. I will get 73 thieving and boost and try to, you know, get... A light bulb from the chest, but not right now, you know. We'll save that for a little bit. And that is making history completed now, so it's time to get this god dang orb thing and yeah, just go around RuneScape searching for this. Wish me luck, man. Hopefully it's not the uh, Zaro's Mages because that's going to be really dangerous. Well, first step got me all the way to here. I believe uh, it's just the Cabbage guy because it's not multi, so yeah, let's kill him. Holy shit, he fucking hits hard. One more hit. Six. Just hit a six. And we got it. Ooh, that was dangerous as hell. Alright, on to the next step then. Please, Master Clue. Please. Alright, we're good. We're good. Just gotta talk to some guy. Awesome. So, I don't know what happened to this uh, clip that I was recording, but basically, I completed this light box that you see here, and I got my next clue. And surprisingly, it's something that I can do pretty reasonably like uh, soon. All I have to do is get Hostetia's favor so I can enter the woodcutting guild and continue the next step. So I'll probably get the favor very soon and hope to complete this master clue. Number 55. <gasps> oh no! No! Oh man. Damn, second Phyrax flail on this guy, jeez. Uh, okay, well. I mean, that is another item. What, what can I say? Can I really complain about that? No, not really. 56, here we go. Oh my god! There's no way! Yo, impossible. That is, no. It happened, but like, I still can't believe that just happened. That's a back-to-back -back with rack items, bro. Holy shit. I've been thinking a bit about when I should start imbuing my black mask. But yeah, I want to get the imbued black mask soon because I'll be using a lot. I'll probably be AFK, magic, and range a lot on my Slayer task. So I'll be showing you guys how to train at Nightmare Zone using absorption potions if you haven't done that before. It's really simple. If you have overload, I recommend bringing the overload. You should uh, overload up. That will obviously subtract your HP to 50. And then what you got to do next is very simple. Use your rock cake. You have to have this rock cake, okay? The idea is you want to get your light points all the way down to one, all right? So just keep spamming guzzle. Now that you're one HP, drink some absorption potions. I think you can drink it at any time now. If you use your rock cake now, it doesn't matter what HP you're at. It'll still get you down all the way to one, even if you have absorption doses. So as you can see, I have uh, 200 absorption potion points. And basically, they count as my life points. Because my life point is only at one, that means all these monsters will cap at only one life point. And instead of it going to your HP, it goes to your absorption potion. So with the absorption potion method, you're basically invincible and you don't have to use prayer potions at all. You can if you want, but 
Anyways, this is a really great way to train your stats while also getting decent amount of Nightmare Zone points on the side as well without it costing you really anything. Yes, we just hit 69 defense and 92 combat. So I did get 68 while I was uh, doing Nightmare Zone. And yeah, I already did an hour, so I just got around three to four more to go of AFK. Just gonna split those up and do them every now and then. But yeah, making good progress, guys. Yes, it is finally here, guys. 70 defense. And that means I can now start using my barrels equipment. Cannot wait to start using that Guthans plate body. So I'm just gonna go back to strength training just because at 70 attack and defense, I'm pretty much all set. I don't need it to be any higher for the most part until I start like getting into some actual bossing where you know monsters have some serious defense that I might want to like train my attack or something. But for now, it's just gonna be a lot of time saver just to work on strength in general. So okay, I will be ending Nightmare Zone for the night. I'm now at 600,000 points. I would have been at like. 700,000, but you know, I needed to invest in some absorptions and stuff. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot just now. I hit 79 hit points right before I ended. And yeah, this is a good question range, strength, or hit points? Which one's gonna be my first level 80 skill? We'll see. So, I have a lot of little distraction goals that I want to do just because it's fun, such as the master clue scroll and the elite clue scroll. So, right now, I'm getting the requirements for the uh, woodcutting guild. So first things first, I need to get myself all the way from whatever I got now to 45% Hosea's favor. Then I can use the new way to uh, get my favor up through the cooking. But right now I just gotta make fertilizer. So I need 800 soul peter and 800 compost. Believe it or not, I actually pull out all the way to 100% on my normal Iron Man. Just cause Hosea just came out and yeah, nobody really knew how to get favor. So I just did my own thing. But now there's an optimal strategy. So I'm just gonna follow that. Guys, this is so easy now to get the compost because look at this. Each of these is a hundred compost. Literally, it takes just a few seconds to get all the compost I need for the 45% favor. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that's nice, man. Just got 40 farming off of making the uh, so first compost. They're going by pretty fast, so yeah, I should have the favor very soon. Wow, that is insane. She took all the so first compost straight out of my bank. Yeah, dude. Got from 5 to 46% just by one interaction, man. Crazy good. Wow, guys. Working the restaurant at 45% plus favor is super fast. I wish I knew about this back then. But anyways, I think I can get 100% of Sadie's favor in just around two hours, dude. That is so fast. And also, I'm currently just making stews because they are the fastest ones out of the two, so I'm getting favor a bit faster. And also, they have this system where, like, if your appreciation for that food is under 30%, you get less favor. So once I see that, you know, the favor for stew is about to be under 30%, I just hop worlds because then that just resets it and makes it go all the way back up to 33. So, so doing it this way is even faster points. And I have done it, guys. 100% Hostia's favor in just about... I feel like two hours, man. And as you can see, the cooking experience too isn't that bad. 51k, man. That's so good. Anyways, I'm gonna lock this and continue the master clue. So, next step was a light box puzzle. I just finished that. So, let's see what the next clue is. Please be something good. Come on. Oh, I think this one looks doable. Okay, so we got a three piece puzzle. Um, hmm. One of them is definitely the God Wars one. I remember that. And that one's Shiloh. This other one, the first one? Oh fuck, <laughs> that, I think that's fucking Saradomin room. Like I don't have to go in, but I have to like, you know, dig by the rope and I have to get 70 agility before I can uh, go down the rope, so. Yeah, my agility is only 54 and I can't boost from 65. You definitely need 70. So I guess I will get around to 70 agility at some point. I need it anyways in the future, so yeah, it won't really distract me. So I'll keep the master clue. We'll get it done soon. So I just finished uh, my Nightmare Zone trip, got all the way to 79 strength, pretty damn good. And let me see how many points I ended up getting from that. Oh yes! I just got more than enough. Oh, that is awesome, man. 500,000 points almost from that one run. That's perfect. It's time to go ahead and upgrade this bad boy. Bam! I still got 50k points left, which is nice. 
for uh, future investments with you know some nightmare zone grinding but nice and of course I'll be working on 55 crafting uh, very soon so then I will turn this into a slayer helmet which will make it even better but yep now I can go FK magic and range training and actually uh, get the boost when I do my slayer task so so hellhounds is my first task with the black mask imbued and I'm getting around 40k uh, magic experience an hour so that's really good for you know AFK mage slayer training so I honestly am not sure when I will be able to progress further into the elite clue scroll and the master clue scroll but I'll definitely try to get the agility and the deviant requirements at some point soon and maybe we'll get some really nice rewards but aside from that I'm gonna continue grinding out my slayer and also doing barrels to try to get the tank legs and tank helmet and also I am now up to 1392 total level really close to that 1400 I'm making crazy progress in the leveling as well anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys soon with another video of games in a few days take care and bye bye